So now we're going to talk about documentation. And uh, so the standard library is like pre-written code that comes with Go. And you're going to see how to install it and everything. But I just kind of want to give you a heads up on documentation. Because we're going to start writing Go in the Go playground at first. And then we'll move into, uh, we'll move into getting our own environment set up after we've done some code writing. We're going to do that very soon, but I want you to be aware of documentation so you can start looking things up if you want to. And I might be looking things up at certain points just to show you how things work. So the official website of Golang is, uh, of the Go programming language is golang.org, golang.org. And you could go to documents. And inside documents, you could find things like frequently asked questions. And we were looking at this earlier. And you could also find the language specification right here. So this is the official specification of the Go programming language. I call it the horse's mouth. In, uh, in our culture, in America, whatever, in California, there's a saying like, you know, uh, getting it straight from the horse's mouth or something like this. I, I don't actually know what the saying is. But the horse's mouth is like a phrase which is like, that's where the truth comes from. <laughs> I don't know where that phrase comes from. But the language specification is the ultimate you know, Bible of the Go programming language for figuring out, hey, how is it supposed to work or what happens. It's also like a Zen cone written by the high masters. So don't expect to read the language specification and understand it in a couple of hours. It'll probably take you a couple of months. I know somebody who is a developer, professional developer, for 20 years, and it took him six months before he felt like he fairly well understood the, the, the language specification. So just be a little bit fore, forewarned when you jump into that, that every word, every word has like weight and meaning in the language specification. So it's really well written, it's really dense, and it takes a while to kind of understand all of it. So that's a language specification. Effective Go is another really good document to read. And uh, it kind of talks about how do you write Effective Go. And we looked at FAQ. But there's also something down here called how to write code, effective Go, package, package documentation, the documentation for the Go standard library. So here's where you could find all of the documentation in the standard library. And this is at golang.org. So for instance, you could come down and you could say, hey, what is the documentation for the FUMPT package? So there's the FUMPT package right there. And package FUMPT implements formatted I.O. with functions analogous to C's, printf, and scanf. So if we go into the FUMPT package, it starts to tell us how the FUMPT package uh, works. And we'll see how to use that as we go through this course, how to read it. But this is all at golang.org. There's also a website, godoc.org. And so at godoc.org, you could search for FUMPT, and you could bring up the same documentation. So what's the difference between golang.org and godoc.org? So golang.org only has the documentation for the standard library. Godoc.org has the documentation for the standard library and third-party packages. So if I wanted to, I could search for UUID, and I could find a third-party package for UUID. This is not from the standard library. And I could say, OK, I want to use this person's code, and I could read about that. There's the documentation for that. So godoc.org and golang.org. Godoc has standard library and third-party packages. And golang.org just has the standard library. And so that's, uh, that's the documentation and where you look it up, golang.org versus godoc.org. And we saw about the language spec and effective Go. All right, so that's, uh, that's the, the foundation for learning Go, the official sources, the, the package documentation, the standard library, and then also the language specification and effective Go. I will often type in golang spec and get to the language specification that way. And I also type in effective golang and uh, get to effective go by typing that in. And so that's two different ways for me, because search is different for everybody, but hopefully that'll work for you too. It's two different ways I get to the language spec and effective go, and then I'll go to godoc. I use godoc.org to look everything up. And so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's handy to know about. And that's the official source for the documentation.